water plays a critical role in the growth, survival and reproduction of every living system. This is not different for fungi. Water is essential for spore germination, nutrient transport and cellular processes. However, the high surface tension of water can make it difficult for spores to disperse, adhere to surfaces or develop specific structures such as aerial hyphae. In some cases, it can even disrupt fungal growth. For microscopic entities, water tension is akin to a viscous swamp or even a brick wall for us. It's impossible to break it without specialized tools. To overcome these challenges, fungi produce hydrophobins, a unique family of small amphiphilic proteins. Amphiphilic molecules have a dual nature in their interaction with water. One part of the molecule is hydrophilic, meaning it interacts with water, while the other is hydrophobic, meaning it repels water. This property makes hydrophobins one of the most surface-active proteins known. Fungal cells secrete hydrophobins as individual units, monomers, which then self-assemble into a hydrophobic film, significantly lowering water's surface tension. The hydrophobin protein family consists of more than 1,000 identified members across diverse fungal species. Hydrophobins are classified into two main groups, class 1 and class 2. While both classes share the characteristic 8 cysteine pattern that forms four disulfide bonds, they differ in their biophysical properties and self-assembly behavior. Class 1 hydrophobins form highly stable, amyloid-like rodlets that are often resistant to detergents and acids, whereas class 2 hydrophobins create less stable, more easily soluble film. One striking example of hydrophobins in action is their assembly at the medium air interface during the formation of aerial hyphae, specialized fungal structures that grow above the substrate. Aerial hyphae serve crucial functions such as gnidiophore formation, attachment to surfaces, and nutrient foraging. The hydrophobin layer enables aerial hyphae to penetrate the medium air interface without collapsing in water-saturated environments. Hydrophobins are not only present in the surrounding medium, but also called aerial hyphae. This adaptation allows fungi to adhere to hydrophobic surfaces, and this feature may even play a role in pathogenicity, the ability to cause disease. For example, plant leaves are covered by a hydrophobic wax layer, which repels water and prevents adhesion of surfaces with hydrophilic nature. Without a hydrophobic coating, fungi would struggle to attach to this protective barrier. However, hydrophobins enable plant pathogenic fungi to adhere to this waxy surface, facilitating host interaction and potentially leading to disease development. Secretion of hydrophobins peaks during sporulation, forming a protective coat around newly produced spores. One of the most striking features of hydrophobin-covered spores is the rodlet layer, which forms through the self-assembly of class 1 hydrophobins into highly ordered amyloid-like fibrillar structures. This layer gives spores a characteristic wrinkled or rigid appearance under electron microscopy and enhance their hydrophobicity, distinguishing them from hydrophobin-deficient mutants, which have a smooth, hydrophilic spore surface due to the absence of these fibrillar structures. Hydrophobins have several key roles in fungal spores. Structure protection. The rodlet layer acts as a shield, protecting spores from environmental stressors such as desiccation, temperature fluctuation, UV radiation, and enzymatic degradation. These dense amyloid-like fibrils provide physical stability preventing premature germination and extending spore viability. Immune evasion in pathogenic fungi In pathogenic fungi like Aspergillus, the rodent layer helps spores evade immune detection by masking pathogen-associated molecular patterns pumps, that would otherwise trigger host immune responses. Hydrophobins also help spores resist phagocytosis, delaying recognition and destruction by immune cells. Surface adhesion. The hydrophobic coating of spores enhances their ability to attach to various surfaces, including plant leaves, insect cuticles, and human tissues, facilitating colonization and dispersal. Spore hydrophobicity and wetting resistance. The rodent layer prevents spores from becoming saturated with water, ensuring they remain buoyant and easily dispersed in the air. This hydrophobicity is essential for maintaining spores in a dormant state until they reach a suitable environment for germination. Application of hydrophobins Beyond their natural role, hydrophobins have gained considerable interest 
for their biotechnological application across multiple industries. Food industry. Hydrophobins can stabilize forms and emulsions, making them valuable as biosurfactants and forming agents in food products. They have been used to create air-filled emulsions that can partially replace fats, contributing to the development of low-fat food alternatives biotechnology. Due to their surface-modifying capabilities, hydrophobins are employed to immobilize enzymes, peptides, antibodies and cells on various surfaces, enhancing the efficiency of biosensors and bioseparation processes. Material science Incorporating hydrophobins into materials can render surfaces hydrophobic while maintaining vapor permeability. This property has been utilized to protect stone surfaces in construction, preventing water ingress while allowing moisture to escape, thereby preserving structural integrity. Medical applications. Hydrophobins can be used to coat medical devices, improving biocompatibility. Their amphiphilic properties make them ideal for drug delivery systems and biosensor coatings, highlighting their versatility and potential for medical innovation. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of fungi.